Colorado High School Activities Association softball is on 1010 KSIR at Eastern Plains Sports Network this afternoon from Jocelyn, Needham Field and Brush. It's a Patriot League battle as the defending 3A state champion Eaton Reds face the Brush Bee Diggers along with Evan Theophilus James. I'm John Anthony <laughs> Beltran. He's got a different middle name since I really don't know what it is, but we don't know to, need to know the real one. Yeah. <laughs> the Bee Diggers come in to the game with a 5-5 five and five record. They went 2-2 two and two in the Bee Digger Invitational, scoring 16 runs apiece in victories over Holyoke and Rocky Ford, while this Eaton team no longer ranked number one, nine and three, but they've won four in a row. Their most recent game was against University, a six to four victory last Tuesday. So they're playing their best softball right now. And the one thing we know with Brush, when they're facing good pitching, they don't hit. Yeah. They lost two nothing to Strasburg, five nothing to Sterling, seven nothing to Severance, three to one to Lyman. And then they fell by a score of 13 to one the first game of the season we did to University. When Brush is winning, 12 to 4 against Valley, 12 nothing Lions. Then they beat uh, uh, Resurrection Christian, 18 nothing, 16 3 Holyoke, 16 7 Rocky Ford. Yeah. So Brush is one extreme to the other. And it's an easy guess today. They're facing great pitching here, Evan. I mean, they really are. Last year we definitely saw what Sadie Ross was capable of. I mean, as a 13 year old. Yeah. She's insane. Yeah, and now she's a sophomore. Now she's not 100% healthy. She's not hitting uh, because uh, she had off-season knee surgery. But uh, she will be pitching from what we understand as the uh, starting lineups will be coming to you here in just a couple of minutes. We'll take a break and come back with the opening pitch between Brush and Eaton on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The Bay Digger starting lineup, or check that. This will be the Eaton starting lineup. So we'll get to the Bay Digger starting lineup sponsor once we get to the bottom of the first inning, but we'll have the opening pitch here coming up. Let's get to the Eaton Reds. Starting lineup for today, a 9-3 and three team going in. Batting first is Emma Pinkstaff, who's a center fielder today. The second hitter is Kiana Smith, the second baseman. Blake Duncan, the shortstop, bats third. The cleanup hitter is the third baseman, Stephanie Bingley. The left fielder, Olivia Comer, hits fifth. Jaylee Lewis, the first baseman, at sixth. The DH, Julia Mager, hits seventh. Right fielder, Jalen Montoya, hits eighth. And Zoe Hamilton... The catcher bats ninth. The B Diggers defensively at first base have Olivia Jillick as the first pitch from Mason Unrine is a strike. Over at second base is Keeley Langford. The third baseman is Avery Lefevre. In between them, it's short as Braylon Rule. In left field, it's Harley Holdren. The center fielder is Carly Tatalini. In right, Delaney Draggart. Behind the plate, Amaya Bruno, 0 1, swung on and popped up very high middle infield. Who's going to call for it? The shortstop, Braylon Rule, to the second base side of the bag, makes the catch. And there's one down. Game time temperature. Well, first of all, the opening pitch brought to you by. The opening pitch is brought to you by Buildings by Design. When it comes to experience, Buildings by Design is the best in the business. Quality, commitment, and experience makes Buildings by Design the only choice when it comes to your next project. Well, Evan's off to a fantastic start with that read. <laughs> And the offering swung on and fisted slowly and caught by the second baseman Langford. A little flare right off the fist, and Keeley makes the catch. And that thing had some English on it, but she stayed with it. Yeah. And there are two down just like that. Two down that quickly. Here comes the number three hitter. As retired there was Kiana Smith. Swung on line. Off the glove of the shortstop. Braylon Rule. That's going to be an error. That was hit right to her. A shot hit by Duncan. She should have caught it. But it looked like it was in her glove. Then she kind of moved the glove. She should have kept it still. That's a straight up error. It doesn't matter if the ball's hit hard. That's very, very playable. Yeah. And the bait diggers against this team cannot make those mistakes. They cannot make those mistakes because that extends innings. So it is scored an E6. And squaring to bunt, it's low. Throw to second runner going and safe as the ball gets away. Stolen base for Blake Duncan. One ball and no strikes on Stephanie Bingley. First four hitters all batting from the right side. And Eaton has come up really aggressive. Only five pitches thrown by Unrine. Here is number six. And that is a changeup upstairs, 2-0. Oh. Yeah, she could have been out of this inning on four pitches. She could have but been. But you got to make that catch. Braylon Rule's a very good, experienced shortstop. And that ball was hit right at her. 
but somehow she kind of jerked the glove a little bit. Swung on and fouled off to the left side. A jam job. Two balls and one strike. Brush pitching has been better this year than it was a year ago. More consistent now with a two-pitcher system of rule and unrine. Yeah. Two balls and one strike here to Stephanie Bingley. And Unrine delivers. And that is outside. Three balls and one strike with Olivia Comer waiting to hit next. The Reds have won four in a row. The Bay Diggers have gone back and forth. They lost one and lost and won at the Bay Digger Invitational over the weekend. Three and one here to Bingley. And the pitch. Swung on and lifted into left center field. That's got major carry to it, and it is off the bottom of the fence. Rounding third and scoring is Duncan. It's a two-out RBI double from Stephanie Bingley, and Eaton leads one to nothing in the first inning. That's an unearned run charged to Mason Unrein after the two-out error by Braylon Rule. Here's Comer, the right-handed hitter. Comer, a year ago against Brush, hit 3.33. Had two hits in a state championship semifinal, I should say. That's upstairs. A ball and no strikes. Jaylee Lewis is on deck with a runner at second and the 1 0. Swung on, grounded sharply, foul down to third base side. Avery Lefevre is kind of hugging that line anyway. Tough to get one by her. All right, game time temperature. I think it's going to be like 86. 79 degrees. Uh, the heat index is probably higher, but 79. It, wow. Yeah, I know. How about that? Yeah, you're right. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swag and a miss. Belt high. She swung underneath that pitch. Comer's down 1-2. and two. With two down and one on in the top of the first inning. Macy and Ryan really wanting to capitalize here and getting this batter out. The pitch, that's up and away, and the count levels at two balls and two strikes. Yeah, the pitch count got really extended, although the pitch count doesn't matter, obviously, as much in softball, but, well, you'd like to retire hitters when balls are hit right at you. And the 2-2, and that is inside. Ball three, strike two. Right, more beat digger softball Thursday and Kersey against the Platte Valley Broncos, brush football on Friday. With Paula Costa and Ron Albo at Severance. Three balls, two strikes. And Comer awaits the pitch. And that hitter on the left elbow. No advance by Bingley was taking off for third. But a hit by pitch keeps the runner at second. Would have been a, a walk anyway. Here is Lewis. One of the newcomers in the E-10 lineup. That's Evan James yawning if you can hear that. <laughs> Come on, bud. We're in the top of the first inning. It's all right. Now, my apologies on behalf of Evan. He can't apologize. He's still yawning. And that pitch is up and in. A ball and no strikes to the sixth place hitter, Jay Lee Lewis. And Lewis playing first base today. you got to keep this at one nothing. Should have been 0-0. And the 1-0. And that is below the knees. Two balls and no strikes. Now, Unrein. That's is actually a strike a he called. Late strike. Well, that's a very late strike. One and one. It was a late strike call, wasn't it? I mean, mm -hmm. I didn't see that in time. Luckily, I was still paying attention. Swung on and lifted into center field. Tatalini coming on. Has to play it on the hop. It's a base hit. Runner breaks towards the plate from second to throw late. It's a Texas League RBI single for Lewis. And Eaton with two unearned runs in the first inning. Up two to nothing. Advancing to second was Olivia Comer. Here's Julia Mager. She's a returning player from last year. She went one for two in the state semifinals. And Eaton won that game going away. And that is a strike on the inside corner. Just below the letters. It's 0-1. This could be enough, too. Yeah. This should be enough for Eaton to win. I hate to say that, but Brush and their five losses has scored a total of two runs, the pitch. And that is in the dirt, scooped up by Bruno. I mean, we're just going based on what's happened so far. If Brush hits Eaton pitching, it'll be the first time this year that they've hit 
quality pitching. The offering, swung on, grounded foul, third base side. And the count moves to a ball and two strikes. 2 nothing Eaton. Mason Unrind retired the first two hitters on three pitches that a line drive hit by Duncan to Braylon Rule. It was hit sharply, but she just dropped it. That was scored an error, and then the next three have reached here. And the pitch upstairs. Ball two, strike two. Could have been four pitches. Now it's up to 22. And Eaton doesn't lose games like this. I've seen oh, no. them for way too long. For a quarter of a century, they don't lose games when you give them outs. Swung on, fisted down the third base side, and it's going to be a foul ball. Didn't have much trajectory on it. Avery Lefebvre tried to get down as fast as she could, but still wasn't able to make that. Well, play. it was only hit maybe yeah. seven or eight feet in the air. It wasn't high enough. Good effort, though. Two balls and two strikes. At second is Comer. At first is Lewis. Two nothing Eaton in the first. And the offering. And that is, I guess, a little bit high. I don't know this guy's strike zone at all. I can't tell either. I mean, it was a similar pitch called a strike, a delayed strike earlier in the inning. I really don't know a strike zone. Three and two. The pitch swung on, fisted, and caught on that flare hit to Lefevre. And that ends the inning. A critical error for Brush as Eaton capitalizes with two runs. Let's head to the bottom of the first inning. Eaton two. And the Bee Diggers are coming to bat on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. The Bee Diggers starting lineup is brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan. Mobile banking on the go makes banking easier for you when you're on the go. Check it out today. And the opening pitch today was brought to you by Buildings by Design. As the Bee Diggers trail 2 to nothing here. In the bottom of the first inning, batting first for the Bee Diggers is the shortstop Braylon Rule. The pitcher Mason Unrine hits second. Carly Tatalini, the center fielder, bats third. Harley Holder in the left fielder hits fourth. The fifth hitter is the third baseman, Avery Lefevre, batting sixth. Olivia Jillick, Amaya Bruno hits seventh. Devea Tolentino eighth. And Keeley Langford will be batting ninth. And again, a huge error. You just, you have to avoid those errors. As Sadie Ross delivers a strike. And she is going to be obviously very difficult to hit as she was a year ago when she went 3 0 against Brush twice in a regular season. And then, of course, in the playoffs, swung on and lifted down the left field line. That could be trouble along the line. And the catch is made in foul territory by Olivia Comer. And there's one down. That's a tremendous defensive play there by Comer. And there's one down. Jaylee Lewis is at first. Kiana Smith at second. The third baseman is Stephanie Bingley. Blake Duncan at short where she was a year ago. And left is Olivia Comer. Emma Pinkstaff in center. Jalen Montoya in right. Zoe Hamilton behind the plate. A swing and a miss. On the pitch delivered to Mason Unrein. From Sadie Ross. And the pitch swung on and foul to the screen. Count is at no balls and two strikes. Braylon Rule came into the game hitting 462. Unrine is at 545. You expect all the averages to probably drop in this game. Yeah. And the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Unrine strikes out a good hack at it, though. I think they, there was a change of pace there by Sadie Ross. She's got such velocity and movement. Then you throw a little bit of a change up. And you're up there being a guest hitter. Here's Carly Tatalini hitting 286. Got off to a good start. Has tailed off a bit. Carly hitting from the left side. Yep, the pitch. And that is on the inside half for a strike. No balls in one strike. It was the right knee that was surgically repaired in the offseason. season. For the Eaton pitcher, the offering. And that is just off the outside corner. One ball and one strike. Two down, bases empty, bottom of the first inning. Eaton two. And the bead diggers nothing. Two unearned runs in the top of the first inning. Sadie Ross delivers. Swung on line. Base hit into right field. Nice job by Tatalini running through the bag. She hit it so hard. 
wanted to make sure there was not a play at first. And that'll send up Harley Holdren. You know, it's crazy. The first two hitters hitting a combined 1,000. You get a fly ball to left and a strikeout. And then somebody hitting 286, although Tatalini's a quality hitter, just shoots it into right field. Here's Holdren. The offering. Swing and a miss. And that was not a good swing at a pitch that was above the letters. It is 0-1 as Holdren comes in hitting 348. Yeah, needs a better swing at that. She, her timing was way off. The offering. Swing and a miss at a pitch at the ankles. Runner goes to second. Safe. Ball gets away. And now Tatalini's got to hold up. You can't get up that late and go for third. It'll be a stolen base. But right now, Harley's just overmatched. She swung at two bad pitches. Yeah. One was high and the other one nearly in the dirt. She's going to have to really choke up and shorten that swing here just to make contact. Let's see what her approach is. No balls and two strikes to pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, fooled badly on the changeup. She swung at that pitch yesterday and it got there today. That's uh, figuratively speaking. But that's her first, I believe, her first career at bat against Ross. And that's the way you get better through an education from a pitcher who led her team to the state championship one year ago. As a freshman. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a runner left in scoring position. To the second we go. Eaton 2, brush nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. 2-0 Eaton, 0-1 to Jalen Montoya. She swung at a pitch up and in and then took that one for a ball. One ball and one strike. I'm John Beltran with Evan James. Two unearned runs for Eaton in the top of the first inning. Montoya, Hamilton, and Pinkstaff, 8-9-1. Swung on and driven down the left field line. That is a fair ball rounding first. As Montoya headed for second, the throw's going to be cut off. It's a leadoff double for Jalen Montoya in the top of the second inning. And that was hit pretty much similar to the one that Braylon Rule hit. But the left fielder for Brush Holdren was not playing along the line as much. He was playing more traditional and very tough for her to get to that softball in time to make the catch. Here's Zoe Hamilton. Left-handed hitter and the pitch, squaring to bunt, lays it out first base side, fielded by the pitcher, throw to first in time. The sacrifice goes one to three. Nice job by Unrein, just recording the easy out. And that's a good thing that we've seen change for the Brush Beatigers as during the university game, they're trying to make the hard play, and it never worked out. So they, Yeah, I mean, yeah, get the easy out. That's a good point, Evan. First game of the year. They've improved since then. The fielding still has to be worked on but at least making the right play is something they've done better. Swung on line, base hit, right field for Emma Pinkstaff. Here comes Jalen Montoya. Throw to first is going to be way late. As again, the hitter Pinkstaff ran through the back. She's got an RBI single, and Eaton now leads 3 to nothing in the top of the second inning in brush. And that'll bring up Kiana Smith. She popped to the second baseman, Langford, on a little flare one inning ago. And the pitch squaring to bunt and takes it for a strike throw to second and a slide and a tag. Safe! Got around that tag applied by Braylon Rule. Good throw there by Bruno, but a stolen base for Emma Pinkstaff and it's 0-1. How about that breeze, buddy? It's nice, I'll tell you what. Thank you very much for that adjective. No balls and one strike. And the offering. Down and in. Took something off at one ball, one strike. The line scores so far for Eaton. Three runs on four hits. No errors for them. They've left two. No runs, a hit, a huge error on Brush. And they left a runner on in the first inning. And here's the pitch. And that is upstairs. Ball two, strike one. On deck is Blake Duncan, the hard-hitting shortstop. The pitch to Smith. Foul to the backstop. A lot of jam jobs here by Unrein trying to pitch these hitters inside, and it's worked for the most part. But the lineup is too good. You're not going to shut them down. Oh, no. Two you, balls and two strikes. Can't do it. No, you can slow them down, but can't you can't keep shut you them away down. from the tacos once in a while. You know, yeah. it just happens. The pitch upstairs, ball three, strike two on the number two hitter in the lineup, Kiana Smith. Mason Unrines had a couple of double-digit strikeout games. She won't get to that today. And a swing and a miss on a 3-2 on a pitch on the outer half. 
But she does pick up a strikeout there, and there's two down. And for Mason Unrein, that is her first strikeout of the game. Here is Duncan. She lined to the shortstop rule, but she dropped it. Duncan later scored in the inning. So two unearned runs. This was an earned run earlier this inning. Swung on line, right center field. That's going to drop for a base hit. Pinkstaff will step on third, round third. She will score. It's a run scoring single for Blake Duncan. She's on base for the second time. Eaton scored two runs in the first inning. Two more here in the second. Eaton four, brush nothing. That thing was laced. Oh, yeah. Well, the pitch was pretty much thigh high. And an easy swing there by Duncan. Stephanie Bingley. Had a double her first time up. The pitch. Up and in. A ball and no strikes. I think Unrein's actually thrown pretty well. It's just a quality lineup. Yeah, it is. Brush, if they lose this game, they're not going to lose because of pitching or even defense because they just can't hit Sadie Ross. And she fires, and that pitch is a strike. Runner goes to second to throw the slide and barely in ahead of the tag for the stolen base is Blake Duncan, and it's one ball and one strike. Now Bruno's fired a couple down there, pretty good throws. She actually caught two Sterling Tigers stealing last week. One ball, one strike. And the pitch swung on and lifted down to third base side, and Lefevre dives. Did she make the catch? She did. That's an incredible play by Lefevre going all out. Only about 15 feet down the line made a basket catch. A sliding or a diving basket catch. And that does it for Eaton on a beautiful play by Lefevre in the top of the second inning. However, the Reds add to the lead. Two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. One and one-half innings are complete here from Jocelyn Needham Field and Brush. It's Eaton 4, Brush nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. 4 to nothing Eaton. Let's head to the bottom of the second inning. A pitch is inside to Avery Lefevre. Against Sadie Ross, the pitch. Swing and a miss. they got to be swinging at strikes here. Harley Holdren did not do a good job of that. And that time, Lefevre swung at a pitch at the ankles. One ball and one strike. I mean, you want them to earn their outs against a good pitcher. You can't give them that, the pitch. And that is up and in. Well, that looked like it was pretty good from here, but called a ball. Two balls and one strike. Two runs in each of the first two innings for the defending 3A state champion Reds. And the offering. Swung on line into right center field for a base hit. That one's headed for the gap. Lefevre's around first. She's headed to second. It's a leadoff double for the sophomore Avery. Lefevre, nice job going the other way on that inside out swing. Well, Brush has had a better approach here. They've, they've definitely hit more off of Sadie Ross than they did in last year's game. I, I oh, without a believe, doubt. Yeah. Sadie Ross is actually better. I mean, you can see she's gotten stronger. You know, they work on that, not only the arm, the lower body. More push, swing, and a miss. And it looks like her lower body, her legs, and everything is even stronger than it was. She's got all that push. Yeah. No balls in one strike. Awaiting the pitch is Jillick. The pitch swung on, pop foul to the backstop. It is 0-2. Lefevre has raised her average. Now she was at 294. Jillick at 278 down in the count. And with Ross delivering so quickly, it's tough to steal on this pitcher. And it's tough to swing with just arms, too. Yeah, you're right. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Jillick strikes out on three pitches. One out. Sadie Ross has just picked up her third strikeout. And the batter is Amaya Bruno. She was in the four hole earlier this year, and she takes a pitch down and in. One ball and no strikes. Bruno hitting 261. And you can see the pattern here. Lefever 294, 278, 260. So he's trying to, Coach Odell, have his better hitters at near the top of the lineup. Swing and a miss and a, miss and a pitch tailing away, and the count levels at one and one. Four to nothing, eats and one on, one out. Avery Lefever let off with a double here in the bottom of the second inning. And the offering swung on and popped foul off to the right side and well out of play. 
your friendly local community bank serving Wiggins and all surrounding areas, High Plains Bank. Find out more at highplainsbank.com. That was a good one. Thank you. Well, emphasis helps. One oh, ball yeah. and two strikes. And the offering. A change up, a strike. Oh, what a pitch. What a pitch. She thought about it, but... Bell tie. I mean, that's just too good. You can't blame a hitter there. Oh, no. Four strikeouts, two down. Here is Nevea Tolentino. She's hitting 333, and she swags and misses at a pitch up at the letters. 0-1. Oh, Avery Lefevre has not moved from second after the leadoff double. The B-Diggers do have one hit in each of the first two innings. The pitch. Swing and a miss and a changeup, and she's completely overmatched right now. Not only because of the off speed, but that pitch was nowhere near the strike zone, but Tolentino swung. It's not golf season yet. And Sadie Ross normally doesn't throw two changeups in a row. She might go the heater, the rise ball, the 0-2. Swing and a miss. She just went straight heat. And she strikes out the side in order after Avery Lefevre's leadoff double. As we head to the third inning, the score, Eaton 4, brush nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We head to the third inning. Evan, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. And the re <laughs> Well, no, see what I've done. I've changed my approach. You asked me that two weeks ago how I was doing. Yeah. So I figured if you've already asked me, it applies to any time when I answer. I don't have to answer just that time. Yeah, I, I see. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, not now I do. Fouled off to the right. I'm doing fine as well, John. Yeah, great. I think I've it's asked wonderful. you that before, yeah. Yeah. By the way, thanks for doing that for me. <laughs> Again, it doesn't have to apply, but but you got the lineups today. That helps. Olivia Comer was hit by a pitch, and she takes a changeup that bounces in. A ball and a strike, 4 to nothing. Eaton, top of the third inning. With two runs in each of the first two innings, the B-Diggers... Did have a hit from Carly Tatalini and then Avery Lefevre doubled the lead off to second. And the offering. Swing and a foul tip into the glove of Bruno. And a count is at one and two. One ball and two strikes here to Olivia Comer to lead off the third inning. Mason Unrein looks in. And the pitch up and in. Yeah, Sadie Ross is in a league by herself. Oh, yeah. By herself. Kind of like you on a Taco Tuesday. <laughs> That's doesn't, a, doesn't have to be a Tuesday. What do you, I mean? But it was Tuesday, the last day. 2 2. Swung on and popped up. Shallow right center field. The second baseman, Langford. And did that ball drop? It did. It did. I thought she was going to make the catch in front of Tatalini. That should have been. Should have been Langford. But the second baseman, yeah. Langford should have made that catch. There's no reason the center fielder's got to close all that ground. It'll be scored a base hit, but that I'm going to attribute that to inexperience at the position. Yeah. But that's clearly Keeley's ball. That ball is at way too high in a very shallow right center, and she kind of gave up on the ball, but there's no way Tatalini's going to make that catch. She'd have to run nearly a third of the field to pitch, and that is upstairs to Jaylee Lewis. Now, we know positions have changed. Keeley started off in center, then was... I don't believe with the team for two or three games and back, and it's been at second here for a limited time. But again, the B-Diggers are going to be giving away an out here. Swung on and grounded sharply to short. Braylon Rule tosses to second for one. To first is going to be late. Fielder's choice goes six to four, one down. As replacing Comer at first is Lewis. And that will send up Julie Mager. Hager popped up her first time at the plate. And the pitch. That is the hit her on the elbow. Boy, it looked like Ooh. she was on top of the plate there. And that is. It's almost like she was. Yeah, no, that, it, that's, she, that's going to be a strike. She was leaning out over the plate. I, don't, I can't believe that's a hit by pitch. That's not a traditional hit by pitch. She looked like she almost leaned into it. Yeah, it was. She was definitely that's over the plate. That, that's why the umpires are conversing. They should send her back to the plate. That should not be a hit by pitch just because the ball hit her. That that should almost be a strike. But I, I think they might send her back to the plate. We'll see. And that's exactly why 
They're having a conversation out there. Well, they're going to call it a hit by pitch, but I, I I don't agree with that. There's a reason. Yeah, and Tom Odles wants to have a conversation about it. There's a reason that the umpires had a conversation. The home plate umpire was wondering if that was actually a, an intentional hit hit batter there by the the hitter and not by the pitcher. Yeah, look looking back from here, it definitely looked like she was over the plate and yeah. I mean, what can you do? Yeah, I think that I think the field umpire missed it. I mean, there's no if I can see it from here and he's got about the same distance, that should have been they should have brought that player back to the plate. But nonetheless, it's first and second. Eaton's up four to nothing with two on and one out here in the top of the third and Jalen Montoya who laced a double to lead off the second inning, will step in. Now they're having another conversation. Now, once you make the decision, you got to stick with it. Oh, yeah. You can't have two conversations on one hitter. That just turns into a, a ridiculous set of circumstances. You made the decision. Coach Odo can talk about it, but there's no reason a field umpire should be involved again unless the conclusion is, is that both umpires have to get together with a coach and uh, as to why they made that collective decision. Here's Montoya. Eaton looking to add to the 4 nothing lead in the third, the pitch. And that is a strike right down the middle. Just above thigh level at 0-1. 80 degrees right now, but that heat is, uh, the sun is certainly beaming. And firing, swung on, popped up, foul territory along the third base side and out of play as Lefevre gave chase. It's 0-2. 0-2 here to the number eight hitter. That's how deep they are. I mean, they can all hit. Hamilton on deck had a sack bunt, so they know how to play fundamental softball. No balls and two strikes. Let's see if Mason expands the strike zone way ahead of the count. The offering. Swing and a miss on a pitch above the letters. He certainly did that with that rise ball. A strikeout of Montoya. And two down. Strikeout number two for Mason Unrhyme. But here's Zoe Hamilton. No official at bat considering the sack bunt the first time up. The Bay Diggers are looking to keep Eaton off the scoreboard for the first time in the game. The pitch up and in. One ball and no strikes. So you know what you're having for dinner tonight? Or is that still? Because I don't know. Amy's cooking for me. but uh, Well, I, I, I think I might have some leftover chicken. Or maybe we have these jalapeno cheddar brats at home as well. Wow. Yeah. That pitch was upstairs, 2-0. and oh. That's got some flavor to it and some heat. That's perfect in the month of September. Oh, yeah. Actually, all year. What am I talking about? <laughs> Two balls and no strikes. The offering. Swing and a miss at the letters. Ball two, strike one with Lewis on second. Mager at first. Four to nothing. Eaton Reds over the brush. Speed diggers in the top of inning. Number three. Looking in, Bruno sets down. The sign. 2 1 pitch. And that is a little bit high. Just above the letters on the uniform. It's 3 and 1. And watch out because Pinkstaff can hit. She's on deck. You don't want to walk this hitter. If not, you're asking for huge trouble. 3 1. And she just walked her. Down and away. And Pinkstaff has popped up and singled to right. Driving in a run. There'll be a pinch runner going to first base. Be number six. For and Eaton. the courtesy runner for Eaton is Shelby Prabelski. So she's at first. Running here for Zoe Hamilton. Emma Pinkstaff officially at one for two. It's not an error, but it's almost like an error. Yeah. With two down, though, and the base is loaded. Here comes Unrein. That is a strike. Nice pitch on the inner half. Belt high. It's 0-1. This hitter gets on. The game is, I mean, the game could be over anyway. Oh, yeah. Against Sadie Ross. But you stay in the game if it's 4 nothing, 5 6 nothing. 
Now, you really don't have much of a shot. Swung on, popped up. The pitcher on Ryan to her left makes the one-handed grab. Another jam job by Mason Unrein. A beautiful job of pitching, and she gets out of a significant jam. No runs, one hit, no errors, and the bases were left loaded. To the bottom of the third, it's Eaton four. The Beat Diggers nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. To the bottom of the third, Eaton four brush nothing. John Beltran with Evan James at Jocelyn Needham Field in brush. Bee Diggers in Platte Valley Broncos on Thursday. No game on Saturday. But by the time we get through Thursday, that's 12 games off the schedule. Oh, that's kind of crazy how fast it goes. It's emblematic of life. <laughs> Here we go. Keeley Langford takes a pitch down and in. Ball and no strikes. To the junior second baseman hitting 200. We've alluded to a very good athlete. That's Ooh. on the inner half, but a little bit high, 2-0. and Langford rolling on Ryan against Sadie Ross, who struck out the side in order after a leadoff double in the second from Lefevre. Swing and a miss on a pitch at the knees. Ball two, strike one to Langford. Ross has thrown 28 pitches, only six balls. Holy smokes. She's attacking the zone and the offering. That is a strike on the inside corner. Thigh high with some heat. Now does she throw a change up on a 2-2? Normally she does it on an 0-2 or a 1-2. We haven't seen it yet on a 2-2. But she's yes, got confidence. Yep, the pitch. Swung on and tapped foul. One with heat there to the backstop. And that time Keeley did a nice job of just shortening the swing. Yeah. There wasn't much body motion there, just bat movement. Two balls and two strikes. That pitch was out over the plate. Keita's got to watch out for the inside pitches. Those are tough to even make contact on. 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and fouled at the plate on a pitch letter high. This will be the seventh pitch of the plate appearance. Nice job so far by... Keely, the B Diggers, have had a base runner on in each of the first two innings, a single by Tatalini, and a leadoff double in the second from Lefevre. The offering, swing and a miss. She threw that changeup in the dirt, throw to first. Hamilton retires Lewis. That is four consecutive strikeouts by Sadie Ross. Strikeout number six in the game, one down. <laughs> that, that is just, just beautiful. Oh. That is dirty. I mean, a filthy pitch. Braylon Rule popped to left on a nice play by Comer along the left field line. And the pitch. Swag and a miss. Ooh. Down and away. Had no shot at that one. It's 0-1. Amazing. You look at Brush's victories. They have scored a total of 74 runs in the five wins. In their five losses, two runs combined. Swung on line. A mile foul. Wow. She was way out in front of that pitch. And you know, I mean, she's got two weapons here in an 0-2. Because she was so far in front, she might throw that change up or that rise ball. Yeah. She struck out the last four B-diggers. Again, six strikeouts in the game for Sadie Ross. 0-2 pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to second. That'll be caught easily. By Kiana Smith. Two down. I said I wouldn't say that. Lift it in the air. Where else is it going to be lifted? <laughs> you know, moon? I don't know. Sun? Unrind struck out swinging. Well, that's a good point. Could be a cloud, too. Yeah, it's got to be hit really high. <laughs> and the pitch. Change up. Swing Ooh. and a miss. You got to watch it right. Not out of the hand, out of the fingers. Wow. It's I mean, she's deadly. Got, what a change up. Oh. No balls and one strike. And the pitch. Swung on and fouled off to the right. A late swing by Unrein. Oh, and to b and appliance and repair from refrigerators to vacuums and everything in between. They have exactly what you need and service it too. b and appliance and repair. And the pitch. Swung on line and caught near the shoe tops on a changeup thrown by Sadie Ross. Soft swing there by... On Ryan, but she did make contact. Only one strikeout in that inning. 
but it's a 1-2-3 inning for Ross. Three complete in Brush. The score, Eaton 4, Brush nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Change for the B-Diggers at second base now is Brisa Aguirre Garcia. And that's the only change for Brush as we head to the fourth inning. Eaton 4, Brush nothing. And for the Reds, they send up the heart of the order here. 2, 3, and 4. Smith, Duncan, and Bingley against right-hander Unrine. I think heart of the order is actually 3, 4, 5, but they're approaching the heart of the order. Smith popped the second and struck out. And that is one of two strikeouts by Mason Unrine. Again, I think she's pitched well, but you're not going to match Ross. The, the, the first no. inning air by the shortstop rule did hurt. But even if she doesn't make that error, it's still two to nothing. Oh, yeah. 100%. And they left the bases loaded in the third. And that is on the outer half for a strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Good pitch there by Mason. Who's the one senior you mentioned uh, against Valley? Uh, Harley Holger. There you go. She's in left field. And the pitch. That's upstairs. A ball and a strike. Yeah, this was a transitional year for Brush, but considering they're 5-5, five and five, that's good. I know they haven't beaten quality opponents, but nonetheless, you still have to win. The offering swung on the line down the right field line. A cue shot headed for the corner in foul territory. Rounding first is Smith. She's into second. She'll round second. She is headed for three. It's a leadoff triple in the fourth for Kiana Smith. And the Eaton Reds now have seven hits in the game. Man, talk about a shot down the line that just twisted away from the right fielder, Delaney Draggart. And here we go with Blake Duncan. She is one for two, reached on an air and singled. Lefevre playing in at third. Swung on, fisted in the air, first base side. Bruno, oh, got a glove on it but couldn't make the catch. Again, it's fisted, but there's just not much altitude on that ball. I mean, maybe eight or nine feet. There's just not enough there. Yeah. A little bit more height on that foul ball. She might make the catch. And she kept the mask on as well. Didn't locate it Perfect. right on time. Right. The pitch upstairs. One ball and one strike to Duncan. On Ryan has thrown 63 pitches in the game. They're playing in all across the way, except that short. Rule is playing halfway, and the 1-1 offering swung on, fisted in the air, and Bruno's going to make the basket catch up the third base side. Only about two to three feet to her left. It was pretty simple for her. Nice play by the catcher, Bruno. One out. Here is Stephanie Bingley. Bingley doubled. And popped out. Drove in a run with a double. In the first inning. The offering. That's a beautiful strike. Down the middle. Thigh high. It's 0-1. We're in the fourth inning. Eaton leads Brush. 4 to nothing. In Brush. Infield again playing in. Except rule at short. The pitch. Upstairs. A ball and a strike. Here to the number four hitter in Eaton's lineup. Unrine comes home. Swung on and chopped down the third base side. Foul. It's a golf swing there, uh, Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because <laughs> low. I used to work with a colleague. Well, you always work when they're a colleague. Oh, yeah. yeah. This was in 99. He drove me crazy when he said foul. It was two syllables. I said, Dan, it's foul, not foul. <laughs> He'd say foul. And the pitch. Change up bounces in. Good idea there by Unrhyme, but doesn't have the change up that Sadie Ross does. Oh, man. But uh, it has improved from a year ago. Two balls and two strikes. See if she can put away Bingley. Unrhyme has two strikeouts in the game. Swung on and popped up into shallow left field. That could be trouble. That's going to drop right in front of Holdren. And Tatalini's going to pick it up, though, as it had some English on it. And moving to second on that 
Texas League double is Stephanie Bingley. Her second double of the game. It drives in another run. Five to nothing Eaton. We're in the fourth inning. There's that breeze again. Oh, it's nice. Yep. Yeah. But you wonder on balls like that, that almost eh, that's the problem when the infield's playing either in or halfway. I think it rolls in her normal position. She makes that catch. That pitch is upstairs. Olivia Comer hit by a pitch and singled. Eaton has eight hits in the game. The Bay Diggers have two. A single by Tatalini and a double by Lefevre against Sadie Ross. And the 1-0 offering. Swung on, driven deep into left center field. At a dive and hold it. Oh, oh, she dropped the ball. It was oh. in her glove. Tatalini picks it up. Runner's going to round third. No throw at the plate. It goes all the way through. It's up to the third base side. Harley Holdren nearly made an incredible play and a dive to her left. It'll go as a double for Comer. Eaton leads six to nothing as Bingley scores from second. From this angle, it really looked like she had caught it, but it must have come out of the glove because then Carly Tatalini made the throw all the way to home. Yeah, I think Tom Odell might want uh, the ball was in the glove. That's not a catch. That's definitely not a catch. That is not a catch. He's going to lobby for that, but there's no way you can call that a catch. No. She dove. It was in the glove. The ball's on the ground, but you've got to physically take that ball out. That is not a catch. So Coach Odell, I mean, props to him for coming out there and maybe defending that play, but that's a straight-up double. You dive, it's in the glove, but you can't that come was up with never, that. she never even got up with that ball. Yeah. It was still on the ground as her body was in there as well, so that cannot be scored. That cannot be an out whatsoever. Nope. It could be in your glove. It's got to remain in your glove. So it's a, a double and a 6 nothing lead as Olivia Comer comes through. But that ball was laced into the left center field gap. Nice job of Holdren closing the gap. Lewis is one for two, singled in a fielder's choice. And the offering. That is upstairs. Two runs in every inning but the third when Eaton did not score. The ball and no strikes here to Jaylee Lewis. The pitch, and that is inside. 2-0 and is a good pitch. Let's see, one year ago, I'm looking for a score here from last year. 18-2, to Eaton 1. That team was really solid. Three balls and no strikes. Udenrein has hit a couple of batters, hasn't walked anybody, but in trouble right now. Add three balls and no strikes. She's kind of got to regain her control. And the pitch. That is right there, there on go. the inner half for a strike. Get her confidence back and then send it in. Ball three, strike one. Six to nothing. Eaton in the fourth inning. At second is Olivia Comer. The pitch upstairs. It's a walk. Lewis is on. And here comes Julia Mager. Popped to third and was hit by a pitch. Here comes Coach Odell. Is he going to make a change on the mound? I think Unrein's thrown well. This is, I think this is a solid idea. He puts in rule just to see how she can compete against this lineup. She threw against him three times last year. So it looks like well, they'll have to make defensive switches. Unrind normally does not play short. It would be Lefevre going to short and Unrind to third. So we have a pitching change in the top of the fourth inning. Brought to you by Greg Mullen at State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, Greg Mullen is there to serve all your insurance needs. 842-4555. We'll take a brief break in the top of the fourth inning with this pitching change. Eaton leads in brush. Six to nothing on 1010 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Well, we do have quite a few changes. Lefevre is now at second. Braylon Rule is the new pitcher. Aguirre Garcia is at short. The pitch. And that one bounces away. The runners are going to advance. And Mason Unrein is now at third base. Six to nothing in favor of the Reds here in the fourth inning. And it's a ball and no strikes. Those runners are the responsibility of Mason Unrein. 
And the offering. That's a fastball there for a strike on the outside corner. Lots of heat there. One ball and one strike. So once again, Lefevre moves from third to second. Aguirre Garcia is now a short. The pitch. And that's to the screen. The ball deflects up the first base side. It ricochets. No throw. Wild pitch scores a runner from third. Seven to nothing. In favor of Eaton is crossing home plate was Olivia Comer. And at third is Jaylee Lewis. That's the first wild pitch of the game by either side. 2-1. And that one bounces in. Yeah, Brayland's not used to being in this role of reliever. No, she's got to kind of settle in, get her, get herself equipped, and then be able to go out and throw some strikes here. Three runs in the inning, the pitch. Swung on, grounded a short. Aguirre Garcia looks to third, throws to first for the out. That's a great play by Brisa Aguirre Garcia. Boy, talk about fundamentals. You field, you look, you throw, you hold the runner, and there's two down. As a freshman as well. Yeah, she is very Solid. good. She's going to get lots of playing time here over the next three years and has already gotten some this year. Jalen Montoya has doubled and struck out. And, of course, she has her older brothers to look up two the pitch swung on and lined into right field and a dive and it's in there for a base hit a dive in right field as the ball gets loose Dragger nearly made the play this could be three bases as rounding second is Montoya she's into third it'll be a straight up triple scoring Jaylee Lewis four across in the top of the fourth for the Reds it's eight to nothing and Delaney Dragger once she got up made no effort to get the ball, and Carly Tatalini actually had to come out from center field and throw that ball in. Well, she did lay out, and once you lay out like that, and it's the center fielder's job to back it up, and she already had some momentum, and I think she saw Tatalini with a lot of speed pursuing that softball, and I think that's probably what played into that. But she almost made an incredible play out there. She laid yeah. out. Try to make a basket catch and a dive. Here is Zoe Hamilton. A sack bunt and a walk. So two plate appearances, no official at bat. And this is a freshman. And sometimes freshmen look like freshmen. She's one of them. <laughs> yeah, they look like, you know, they're yeah, still going to be in middle school. Yeah. And the offering. That is a strike on the inner half of the knees. Like Sadie Ross is a ninth grader, looked like a ninth grader last year. But you can tell she's gotten a lot stronger now. Oh, yeah. She could pass probably for a junior. Or a senior. And the 0-1. Fouled straight back. No balls and two strikes. Here to Zoe Hamilton. Those eight runs were charged to Mason Unrein. No balls and two strikes with two down and a runner at third here in the fourth inning. And the pitch, and that is outside. A ball and two strikes. Yeah, Eaton can just hit the ball. And the offering. Swing and a miss. A strike out of Hamilton, and that does it. The Reds, though, crank through with some major offensive output. Sure four did. runs on four hits, no errors, and one left. Three and a half are in the books. The defending 3A state champion, Eaton Reds, lead the Brush Bead Diggers 8 to nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Here we go as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. I'm John Beltran along with Evan James. Evan has many titles. So we don't have time to run through <laughs> all of them. Senior is one of those. He's a, yeah. He is a senior. I am a senior this year. In high school. Yeah. I'm a senior. So I'm a senior. I'm a young senior in age, 55 <laughs> and over qualifies the pitch, and that is inside. And the hitter is Carly Tatalini. Had a base hitter first time up. You know, John, it's not always a bad thing. I mean, you do get discounts. You're telling me. That's a strike at the knees. A ball and a strike. Sadie Ross has struck out six in the game. 
Looks over at that wristband. The pitch. Swung on, popped up into foul territory and out of play on the first base side. Tadalini's had some good swings. Oh, yeah, she has. Especially from the left side. Yeah, well, that's the only side she hits. I mean, unless she's yeah. a switch hitter that I don't know about. And that's one thing, John, that I've seen a characteristic of most teams in the league is they all have those wristbands. Right, one, two. Change up, strike three oh. at the knees. That was nasty. Oh, that's just dirty. Right at the knees, and nothing Tatalini could do there. You just buckle up, and you don't know what to do. That's exactly what happened. Seven strikeouts for Sadie Ross, who was working on a two-hitter in the bottom of the fourth inning. Harley Holdren's got to have a better plate appearance than the first time. She was completely overmatched on three pitches, two of which were not even strikes. Well, she never throws a first-pitch changeup, so you can expect some heat to pitch. And that one hit her on the left foot. Well, that's oh. a good way to get on base. She's going to limp towards first base in a rare hit batsman by Sadie Ross. And Lefevre laced a double into right center in her first plate appearance. Yeah, Holdren's going to get a base runner. Yep. That looks, is that Reese Lambert? Maybe. A 12? 12, yeah. Yeah, it's, no, 13. 13. You got 13. I'm not sure. I'd have to check. Uh, yep, that is Reese Lambert. Okay. Nice call there. Reese Lambert now running at first. So Lefevre's got one of the two hits by the B-Diggers here in this game against Sadie Ross. And do we know why the delay took, what, they're just marking the courtesy runner? How about some technology? <laughs> yeah, Especially in this day, and age. Come down. on. Yeah, they're, they need an app for that. Hold on, let me pull out my pen and paper and write it down. <laughs> the pitch, that is inside, dropped by the catcher, runner goes to second, and on the pass ball, Lambert's in there. Late I, start. I thought there was a strike, to be honest with you, but since the ball was dropped, since the ball was dropped by Hamilton, that was called a ball. Yeah, that was a really late start from... Well, she, she did not steal. She went off the pass ball 1-0. Swung on and lined and caught by the second baseman. This will be a double play as Smith tosses to Duncan, doubling up Reese Lambert to the fifth inning we go in brush. It's the defending 3A state champion, Eaton Reds, leading the brush beat diggers 8 to nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. That's at the bottom. How about the top of the fifth inning? Eaton leads brush 8 to nothing. Bank of Colorado is the only bank dedicated to help you make the most of living here. Not just a bank in Colorado, their Bank of Colorado, proud supporter of local sports and academics. That first pitch was rolled in there by Braylon Rule to Emma Pinkstaff. Popped a short, a single to right, and then popped to the pitcher. One for three, the offering. Bounces that one in, it's 2-0. Braylon Rule's really got to get her control going here. Two balls and no strikes. The pitch. She has not been close at all with any of those three pitches. Mm -mm. Those are called non-competitive pitches because the hitter doesn't have to think about it. Just got to stand there and wait. I mean, they start out at the ankles and they stay at the ankles. Got to bring it up. 3-0 pitch. And that is up and away. Nothing close. It's a walk to Emma Pinkstaff. V Digger pitching today has walked three hitters. And Mason Unrine hit a couple early in the game. Kiana Smith popped out, struck out, and tripled. And coming home, and that pitch is a strike. Runner to second, no throw, a stolen base for Emma Pinkstaff. No balls and one strike here to Smith. Eaton, if they score two runs and hold the bead diggers, it would be a five-inning game. Then we take it to the Rockies and the Braves. The offering. Swung on line. Fair down the third base side, just to the right of Mason Unrine. Rounding third is Pinkstaff towards the plate. She's in there. Throw to second. It's an RBI double for Kiana Smith. Eaton nine. Brush nothing. Now just one more run, John. Well, the bead diggers do have to hit in the bottom of the fifth inning. 
Blade Duncan has reached on an air, singled in a run. And then she popped to the catcher, Bruno, the offering. That is, I believe, a strike at the knees. It is. It's 0-1. That's why you can't walk the leadoff hitter. Yeah. These things just come back to haunt you. Especially with the lineup as good as this is oh, yeah. from the East Really Rex. solid, the pitch. Inside, off the glove of Bruno to the screen. To third is Smith. And like you were saying earlier, they either Brush either loses dramatically or they win dramatically this year. Well, actually, it's the op. And you're, you're right. They either win big, but they've been competitive in every game but one against University. For their losses, 3-1, 2-0, 5-0, 7-0, not bad, but this game will be on the closer to the University game to begin the year. Yeah. But Brush has not played bad defensively like oh, they no. did in that first game against University. It's just that 18 is just too good. One ball and one strike to Blake Duncan. 9 nothing. Runner at third and one out. Infield is in. Upstairs. Yeah, there's not an easy out in this lineup. Ball two, strike one. Braylon Rule delivers. Up and in off the glove of Bruno. No advance because there's not much room between the catcher and the backstop. But maybe about 10 feet, if even then. Yeah. I mean, they did score a run on a wild pitch, but the ball ricocheted up the first baseline. Three and one. Braylon ready. And the pitch. Swung on and grounded a short. Aguirre drops it, throws to first, and that's going to be in time for the out. Nice job by Brisa Aguirre Garcia. And again, the runner holds it third. Duncan is retired. Duncan is one for four. Stephanie Bingley has doubled twice. So this is a significant four. Although one of those was a Texas leaguer. Mm. But it all counts the same. She's driven in two. The pitch. That's right there for a strike. Outside corner, it's 0-1. The Bay Diggers trying to keep this at 9 nothing, which would guarantee them a sixth inning of play. At third is Kiana Smith with one out. The pitch upstairs. A ball and a strike. Well, we do this to Evan once in a while, where he has to guess the temperature. After the pitch. The pitch. Evan? I'm going to guess 72. 77. Oh. It was definitely cooler. Not that cool. <laughs> but at least you're not cheating. You're giving your best shot. Two and one. Bingley awaits the offering. And she swings and chops it slowly in the ground to first. And Jillick will tag the runner going by. Again, no advance by Smith. I'm surprised she held up. That ball was not hit sharply. Jillick had to charge. She would have scored on that play. And it is now two down with a runner at third. Nice place by Jillick. Excellent play. But that should have been a run there for Eaton. That is way too conservative. And this should be Comer. Two for two hit by a pitch. Single and a double. The offering. Swung on and grounded a second. Lefevre to her right. Backhand throws to first. In time! Boy, an excellent job by Rule Pitching and the Bee Diggers with that splendid defense. And they hold Eaton to one run in the top of the fifth inning. Let's head to the bottom of the fifth in brush. The Bee Diggers trail the Reds 9 to nothing on 10-10 KSIR. KSIR.com in the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Swing a foul on the first pitch at the bottom of the fifth inning by Olivia Jillick up the third base side. No balls and one strike. Jillick struck out swinging her first time up against Sadie Ross. 9-0 Eaton. The offering way outside off the glove of the catcher Hamilton to the screen. One ball and one strike. Sadie Ross is working on a two-hitter. She has struck out seven, walked none, and hit a batter. And the pitch to Jillick, and a changeup, a check swing foul up the first base side. One and two. Yeah, if you're going to swing at a changeup, you, oh, yeah, you, you can't swing. swing at the speed of the changeup. She swung at the speed of the changeup. That's why she made contact. 
You got to keep your hands back. One ball and two strikes. The pitch swung on and fisted foul off to the right side. Listen, this Sadie Ross, she's just fun to watch. Oh, yeah. When you're that good, you're really fun to watch. I know she's not a beat digger, but still, you have to appreciate this level of talent. Especially from a sophomore. She, I mean, this is only her 50th pitch of the game. The offering, swing and a miss. Eight strikeout for Sadie Ross. Olivia Gillick goes down swinging. Here is Amaya Bruno. She struck out looking on a changeup her first time up. All right, time to tell you about Morgan Community College, here to make your dreams become a reality for both traditional and non-traditional students. I know a lot of people work there, and they're great people. Swung on, grounded left side, shortstop Duncan Fields, fires to first, Ooh. two outs. Easy play for Duncan. She's got a cannon. Yep, she does. Check them out at morgancc.edu. That's Morgan Community College. That'll bring up Nevea Tolentino. Struck out swinging. Check that. We're going to have a, a pinch hitter. Coach Odell delivering that information to the home plate umpire. Now batting, number 20, Delaney Dragger. Oh, Delaney. Delaney Dragger started off in right field, but was not in the lineup. Now she'll hit. Dragger looking to get the offense on track, hitting just 071. And that's exactly why Coach Odo wants her in this situation. The game is already lost. Yeah. And you figure, how can she do against a quality pitcher like this? Not just a quality pitcher, the number one pitcher in the state. And the B-Diggers will see Eaton again. And Eaton, I believe in a couple of weeks. So here we go with Delaney Draggart. Two down to the bases, empty the pitch. Swag and a miss. Whew. Major heat above the letters at 0-1. She's on a roll here. The bead diggers have not had a base hit since the second. We're in the fifth inning. The offering, same pitch, same swing, same result at 0-2. One strike away from her ninth strikeout and sending this game into the sixth inning. No balls and two strikes. Oh, is she going to unleash a change up here? I, I, I popped up foul territory, third base side, and on top of the dugout occupied by Eaton. She did not unleash a change up, but she might do so now. That was a setup pitch. That's a setup for what's to come. If I'm Draggart, I'm guessing change up right here. Yeah. I really am guessing change up. 100%. She throws it down the middle. What are you going to do? 0 2 pitch, the offering. Change up is in the dirt. A ball and two strikes. Hey, there's my favorite of all time, <laughs> Verna Maris. I told her that to her face, and I just said it on air. Okay. <laughs> Great job by Delaney by holding back there. Yeah, yeah I think wow. she anticipated the pitch. Swung on, grounded right side, second baseman Smith to her right. Fields fires, and Delaney Draggart is retired but did make contact, and the bead diggers are retired in order. In the bottom of the fifth inning, to the sixth we go. Eaton nine. The Beat Diggers nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Nine nothing Eaton. We're in the top of the sixth inning in brush. The pitch. Strike one. Outside corner. Braylon Rule the pitcher. And the hitter is Jaylee Lewis, who is one for two. A single, a 6-4 fielder's choice, and a walk. The offering. Swung on, grounded left side. The shortstop, Aguirre Garcia, throws perfectly to first for the out. I mean, they definitely have to think about getting her in the lineup more. I don't care no. if she's a freshman. She's too good. She's too good. She's fielded three balls out there at short. And just done an excellent job. Too flawlessly. Yeah. The other one she dropped, but she still had enough time because she's got a cannon of an arm. Excellent job. Julia Mager is 0 for 2. A pop out, a hit by pitch, and a ground out. That is a fastball low. One ball and no strikes. Well, this game will go to a seventh if Eaton does not score. They have scored in every inning but the third. And the offering swung on. Line left field coming on and dropping the ball is Holdren. I think she tried to make a basket catch. We're going to score that in error. That's looked like that should have caught. That. You that's, got to catch that. That's a very easy catchable ball. That's an error on the left fielder Holdren. She turned her glove completely the wrong way. 
It's a one-out error, and the Bee Diggers have only committed two in the game, but she got a good jump, but that you got to have that glove oh, yeah, 100%, you right have side it. up. She had that basket side up, and you're not going to make that catch, but it has to be scored a miscue. Here's Montoya, double struck out and tripled in a run. The pitch, and that one hit her oh. on the left foot. Well, that's what happens. Those things happen. An error is followed by something like that. A hit batsman is followed by, you know, a misplay. And Zoe Hamilton, a sack bunt, a walk, and a strikeout. 0 for 1. Courtesy runner. That looks like number 6. Yeah, Shelby Probelski. She was in there earlier. So two on and one out in the sixth inning, and Eaton up nine to nothing. Well, we'll see when we see the scorebook if that scored an error at Max Preps. But to me, Rule committed one on the line drive, bunted up the third base side. That's going to be a base hit. Nobody's there. In fact, the shortstop is coming in. Unrein went to cover third, but that's not going to be a play. No. You, if you're the third baseman, you got to come in. That's a fundamental yeah. uh, confusion there by Unrein. You have to come in. You do not cover third on that play. Not at a bunt that good. But again, it's not easy to judge, so I'm not going to Yeah. You know, I'm not going to claim that that's an easy play, but that one you normally would charge and then throw to first. You wouldn't sit back on that and cover third. Base is loaded for Emma Pinkstaff. It was one for three, including a walk. Bases loaded, one out. Swung on and grounded foul up the third base side. Again, Rule got the first out of the sixth. A liner to left was dropped, then a hit batter, then a bun single. And that's going to be a base hit more than likely either way with Hamilton speed. Honestly, yeah. The offering. And that's off the glove of the catcher. Towards the plate now is Mager, and she Ooh. slides in safely ahead of the tag by Braylon Rule. The wild pitch makes it 10 to nothing. And two more runners are in scoring position. Here's Emma Pinkstaff, so they can play the infield in. But then Brush would have to score in the bottom of the sixth inning to extend the lead, or to extend the game, I should say. Which is going to be hard to do against Sadie Ross. I mean, oh. Well, yeah, very difficult. The offering swung on, fouled off to the right. It's one and two. This is the fifth plate appearance for Pinkstaff. The Bay Diggers won't have their lineup go through the order three times. Runners on their bases, second and third. One across in the sixth inning. The offering swung on, popped up. First base side foul territory and out of play. Actually had some major spin on it. Never even close to being in play. Remains at one and two. The Reds scored two runs in the first, two in the second, four in the fourth. The run in the fifth and one in the sixth. They've got 12 hits in the game. And the pitch to Pinkstaff. And that's in the dirt. Scooped up nicely by Amaya Bruno. The Bay Diggers will fall to five and six. Eaton will win their fifth in a row. They'll be ten and three following this win. Probelski at third, Hamilton at second. Two two. Ooh. Up and in. And watch out because you have Smith and Duncan coming up. And if you have the bases loaded, that's just a deadly combination. Well, they might go to a pinch hitter. We'll see. Might use some of the bench. 3-2. Swung on and pop foul off to the right. Stays at 3-2. and two. Yeah, Both airs by Brush, even though that has not been the deciding factor, have hurt them. Mm. And a 3-2 pitch. Swung on and chopped down to third base side. Foul. That would have been ball four. That pitch was down at the ankles. And Pinkstaff swung at it anyway. That's the Evan James approach. I go for anything. You know, you gotta, sometimes you gotta let the, you gotta let some pitches by. Yeah, but you're an aggressive hitter. I mean, well, you used to be, <laughs> but still, back when I used to play. Right, three-two pitch, swung on, grounded a short. Oh, oh! A massive hop on Aguirre Garcia, and that'll be a base hit. No error there. That's just a terrible hop. Oh, right near the chest area. No error on that one, and the run scores. Wow, a massive hop. And Man. Benisa's okay, but huh, I just had some major spin on it. 
It's a base hit for Pink Staff. It's 11 nothing. Wow. She was there to field it. At least she blocked it. I mean. Yeah, to keep it in front of her. But oh. no, you can't score that in there. No. That's a, that's a makeable play until the bounce, which was a wild hop. 11 nothing. Pitch to Smith is up and away. One ball and no strikes. We'll have the recap after the bottom of the sixth inning. We'll, and we'll have the recap pretty quickly because we'll get you to the Rockies and Braves, which will not be on the web. That will only be on 10-10 KSIR. 1-0. Swung on, grounded slowly towards third. To her left, Unrine drops it, picks it up, throw to first late. That'll be an air runner to third. That throw's going to be late. Second air of the inning by Brush. The RBI is credited, though, mm. and it's now 12 to nothing as Hamilton scores. And the third is Pinkstaff. And now there will be a courtesy runner. Got a number four there, it looks like. And the courtesy runner is going to be Ayla Ritchie for Eaton. And Duncan will step in at one for four. They're going to win this game by a lot uglier margin than... I mean, they could keep going here because Brush still has to hit. They've already played at three runs in the inning. They've scored in every inning but the third. And here comes Braylon Rule. Beautiful oh, changeup for a strike. Nice. No balls in one strike. Twelve runs on thirteen hits, no errors. Eaton has left eight on base, no runs, two hits, three errors for Brush. They've stranded two. And the 0-1, and that bounces a nice scoop up there by Amaya Bruno. Yeah, Brush defensively, I think they are they're pretty strong in the middle. The corners, I know they're. Looking to work on the corners and get them a little bit stronger. Swung on and driven in the air to right field. Going way back towards the fence. Oh. And it is off the bottom of the fence as Dragger gives chase. The ball comes back into the infield. A run scores. Throw to third. That'll be late. It's a run scoring double for Blake Duncan as Pinkstaff scores. And Eaton now leads 13 to nothing. Mm. And that ball was laced. And last year... If I remember correctly, and I think you said it earlier, that the Beatigers lost to Eaton 18-2. to That is correct, and the score is not that far away from here, but Brush more than likely, unless Sadie Ross does not pitch the bottom of the sixth inning. It'll be a different story. In terms of uh, as Sophie Morgan will be the pinch hitter. That's a strike by Braylon Rule. You know, this is crazy now. The last six Reds have reached. Mm. How did it start? An error. you got to make those plays. I mean, it's I know. It's the small it. things that add up, you know. Well, because the small things lead to the big things. The pitch swung on and fouled off to the right. Yeah, she got the first out, and they were looking good. But once you commit an error, oh, Eaton will jump all over that. No balls and two strikes to Morgan. And Rule comes home. Upstairs, a ball and two strikes. They've had two four-run innings in the fourth and right now in the sixth. And looking for more. The infield is playing in for Brush. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And Morgan strikes out. And Braylon Rule records the second out of the inning. The bead diggers in this game have struck out a combined four hitters, two by each pitcher. Olivia Comer is two for three. The offering swung on and fouled at the plate. And Braylin just looking for this out here so they can get out of this inning. Well, that's it. I mean, I mean, what can you do? You're not going to go to the seventh. The only way you go no. to the seventh is if they replace Sadie Ross and the B diggers jump on a relief pitcher. And the 0 1. Swung on and fisted in the air. The pitcher, Braylon, ruled to her left, will make the two-handed grab. And Eaton is retired in the top of the sixth inning. The Reds tally four runs on three hits. There were two brush errors and two left in scoring position. Eaton has actually stranded 10 despite scoring 13 runs. They are blanking the B-diggers 13 to nothing as we head to the bottom of the sixth inning on 10-10 KSIR. And the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Brice Aguirre Garcia leads off the bottom of the sixth. Just heard from Brian Adams. And 
Unfortunately, Evan James thought that was a local butcher here in Brush, but it is a musical <laughs> artist who made a name for himself. But again, you know, he's not 18 yet. He's still learning musical history. That's fine. Still young, you know. You're still very young, very young. <laughs> All right, let's see what Benisa can do. She's had an excellent game at short. Wonderful job. Pitches down and in. A ball and no strikes to the freshman. She awaits the pitch here from the sophomore Sadie Ross up and away. These are huge at-bats for the freshman because she gets on. You never know how much more playing time you earn. And the fact that it's, that it's against Sadie Ross. Exactly. 2-0 pitch right down the middle. Strike one. The Reds are down. Or the B-Diggers are down to their last three outs, trailing 13-0. Two balls and one strike in the offering. Swung on and tapped foul to the backstop. Well... You know what I'm you know what I'm thinking right now? What are you thinking? Change up. Mm. I have right. to agree with you. Well, she's throwing a lot of them. Let's see what Barisa does on the 2-2. Swung on line foul off to the right. Okay, that's a setup Ooh. pitch. Yeah. That's a setup pitch. You know why she was late? Because she was waiting on the change up. So she figured protect with a fastball and then look for the change up. We'll see what Brisa does here on the 2-2. Here it is. Change up lined and on a one hopper to Duncan. The throw to first is going to be in time. Oh, but a nice at bat there by Brisa. Oh, she was only thrown out by about a step and a half. Great job by Brisa there. One down. I mean, thinking logically, she'll have to face her for two more years. Exactly. And she might be one of the better hitters in this brush lineup right now. Mm-hmm. Braylon Rule is definitely top-notch hitter. 0 for 2, the pitch. Swing and a miss at the knees. Braylon Rule has popped to left on a nice play by Comer and then a fly ball to second. A fly ball to left and a pop to second. How about that? And a check swing. I don't think she went. No, she did not go. Pitch was upstairs. A ball and a strike. In the bottom of the sixth inning, Sadie Ross delivers. Oh, a Ooh. check swing foul to the screen. That pitch was above. That was a rise ball, and she went for it. One and two. Must be fun of your Zoe Hamilton catching this pitcher. <laughs> Knowing, oh, I'm not going to be on my knees or in a crouch for that long. And the one-two offering. Lined, and that is foul down the third base side through another changeup. Well, that was the first changeup she threw her. And again, got to keep the hands back a little bit. Good swing there by Bray Lynn. Yeah. Great job there. Very good. Very good hitter. The pitch swung on and popped up along the line and left. Should be an easy play for Comer. She makes the two-handed grab in foul territory. Two outs. And Bray Lynn Rule did not strike out in this game. And I mention that because Sadie Ross... Has struck out a ton. Oh, yeah. Eight in the game. I shouldn't. That's not a ton, but that's a good amount. I mean, that's pretty much the whole lineup. Mason Unrein has struck out and popped out. And the changeup bounces in. One ball and no strikes. To Unrein. And the offering. That's right there for a strike on the inside corner. A ball and a strike. We'll get to the Beat Digger post-game show here momentarily. We won't even take a break. Fouled off to the right. One ball and two strikes to Mason Unrein with two down in the bottom of the sixth inning. Looks over at that wristband. Almost like a forearm band. The pitch. Down and away. On pitch number 71 from the sophomore right-hander, Sadie Ross. Two balls, two strikes. The offering, swing and a miss. Nine strikeouts to end the game. Mason Unrein goes down. Sadie Ross mm -hmm. picks up the victory for 
the Eaton Reds, 13 to nothing. Bee Digger Post Game Show brought to you by... The Bee Digger Post Game Show is brought to you by Stubbs Gas and Oil. Fill up your cooler and gas up your car at Stubbs Gas and Oil. Easy and convenient, which makes them the only stop you need on your way to the big game. The Reds defeat the Bee Diggers 13 to nothing. 13 runs, 14 hits, no errors, 10 left on base for Eaton. No runs, 2 hits, 3 errors. And two left on base for Brush. Sadie Ross picks up the victory. The loss goes to Mason on Rhine. Time of the game, one hour and 37 minutes. And Eaton scored two unearned runs in the top of the first inning. Uh, Stephanie Bingley had an RBI double. And then Jaylee Lewis with a run scoring single. Two more in the second inning to make it four to nothing. Emma Pinkstaff with a run scoring single. And Blake Duncan. Had an RBI base hit as well. When you look at Eaton offensively in this game, they had two RBIs from four players, Pinkstaff, Kiana Smith, Duncan, and Stephanie Bingley, who had two doubles in the game. The Bay Diggers had just two hits. Carly Tatalini's single in the first inning and Avery Lefevre's double to lead off the bottom of the second. The Bay Diggers fall to five and six. They play on Thursday in Kersey against the Platte Valley Broncos at four o'clock. Right here on 10-10 KSIR. And Eaton has won five in a row. They are now 10-3 and three on the season. For Evan James, I'm John Beltran from Jocelyn Needham Field and Brush. The final score, the defending 3A state champion Eaton Reds defeat the Brush Bee Diggers 13 to nothing on 10-10 KSIR and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.